everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, what I do here is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I do a point of view hiking video where you get to see what I see in beautiful 4K. As we go along, I tell you a story. It could be a funny story, a serious story, sometimes even a life lesson. And then every Wednesday, I post a video which is just the sights and sounds of where I am. So you don't have to listen to me talk and talk and talk to the point you're ready to gouge your ears out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. It actually makes a big difference. YouTube looks for those channels that people are subscribing to to show others. But if nobody subscribes, then YouTube is going to leave it locked up in their dark, dank basement. And it tells me that nobody even, even cares about these videos. And maybe I shouldn't make them anymore. Also, be sure to kick that like button. Wait a minute, Mike. What do you mean, kick? What about smash? Yeah, what about smash? Why does everybody now say smash that like button? Like, what's the point? Smash that like button? Like, one person said it, now everybody's got to do it? Everybody's got to say it. Every single person. I, I saw a woman on there who's 125 years old says, Okay, everybody, before we get started, be sure to smash my like button, okay? Smash it. Yeah, I don't like being like everybody else. So today we say kick. Kick that like button. If you like this video, kick it. Kick that like button. Today's story is actually going to be a life lesson. I'm going to teach you how to drive a car. Now, before we get to today's sarcastic but funny video, there is one last thing we need to do, and that is a shameless plug. And a shameless plug is where I take a moment in the video to shamelessly plug something of mine, and I promote it without any shame. That's why it's called a shameless plug. This is Mike with a shameless plug for my own website. I actually have a few websites, but today I would like to introduce you to MikeMBurkDesigns.com. If you're looking for cool items to add to your home, give as a gift. We got Christmas, you've got birthdays. There are plenty of things to choose from here at MikeMBurkDesigns.com. A lot of these items are designed for the home. We have beautiful items for your bedroom, for your living room, all kinds of different themes. So check out MikeMBurkDesigns.com and order today. And there's my shameless plug. Every day we take to the roads. Perhaps a cup of coffee is in the cup holder while our favorite tunes play from the car stereo. We pop on our sunglasses and make sure that our seats are comfortable for our ride. We place our foot on the gas pedal and we go. Everything is fine for about five seconds. And then the aggravation of dealing with other drivers begins. With everything that we see, a thought comes to our mind. How in the world did they ever get their license? I've come up with a new way of teaching people how to drive that perhaps will make the roads a much safer place to travel. First, whenever you're going to turn onto another street, driveway, or parking lot, make sure you do not use your turn signal. We want to make sure that we do not let the driver behind us know that we are turning. Why would we want the other driver to know? It's not like we want to warn them ahead of time so that they don't smash into the back of us. We don't want that car either that's waiting to pull out onto the street to know either. So they've been waiting to pull out for hours. If they knew you were turning, they could have pulled out before. But who cares about them? Let them wait. Whenever we want to turn, we should just do it. It is important to know that the other drivers on the road don't matter, only you do. Second, when you are on the interstate highway and driving through traffic, make sure you step on your brakes as much as you can. It doesn't matter when, as long as you continue to do it. Just slam on your brakes and then slam on them again and again and again. The reason for this is that the cars behind you are going at a steady speed and then you slam on your brakes in the middle of the highway, slowing everything down. You'll notice that the cars behind you 
are now having a hard time keeping control. Sometimes they even have to drive into the emergency lane to prevent themselves from hitting you. This is normal because we want that to happen as we slam on our brakes. We want them to lose control. Believe me, they will thank you for it. Third, when driving on the interstate, be sure to cut people off without warning. Do not use your turn signal or even allow enough space between you and the car that you are cutting off. When you cut the car off, make sure you are almost touching their front bumper. It's even better if you begin to turn while the car is exactly on the right side of you. Trust me, it is priceless the look of horror you will see on the driver's face as you begin to drive into them. It's important that we scare drivers. As we said earlier, you are the only one on the road. The road belongs to you. The other drivers are worthless. Also, just to sweeten the pot, after you cut the car off, be sure to give them the middle finger and start swearing at them. I mean, they had no right to just be driving normally. The highway is yours and you can do whatever you want. And when you put others in danger, it's the other drivers that are at fault. Fourth, when driving on any street, be sure to text as much as possible. Talk on your cell phone too, comb your hair, stir your coffee, fuss with your car stereo, fuss with the GPS, put on your lipstick while looking into a mirror, eat an entire Thanksgiving Day meal on your lap, you know, whatever you need to do to make sure you're not paying attention to the road ahead of you. As you know, all of our cars are actually bumper cars. The guardrails on the side of the roads are made of rubber. I know it looks like they're metal, but they're not. It's rubber. So when you're not paying attention and we crash into someone, it really doesn't matter because we'll be okay. We'll just bounce off and be fine. It's actually fun. I would say take your hands off the steering wheel altogether and just wave your hands outside of the sunroof and allow your car to crash into whoever you want to crash into. It'll be fine as you just bounce off and we'll all have a good laugh over it. <laughs> and then you can say, <laughs> I was texting. <laughs> oh, it's great. I mean, sure, there may be a lot of deaths. You know, people will die. But hey, you were texting, and that's what's most important. It doesn't matter if the other person died. You were texting. Fifth, before getting into a car, be sure to be as high as you possibly can be. You know, take as many drugs as you need, drink a lot of alcohol. I mean a lot. You know, as much as you could fit into your body. Then when you think you're finished, have some more. Then get into your car and start driving. It doesn't matter that you can't keep your car straight. It doesn't matter that your mind isn't focused and that you have no idea what you're doing. So that way you may crash into someone and kill them, but hey, it's meaningless, right? I mean, the road is your highway. They don't matter. All that matters is you. You know, they're just someone on your highway. So as we mentioned before, you are the only one on the road. So do what you want. Finally, we have two ways of driving and we should exercise both. First, we should either drive at super fast speeds, flying past people along the highway, cutting them off and tailgating. Oh, and by tailgating them, not only are we putting them in danger, but we are angering them beyond belief, which is wonderful. It's okay, however, because if they have to stop short and we smash into the rear end, it's gotta be their fault, right? So what do we have to worry about? Second, our other choice is to drive very slow. It should be our mission to tie up traffic. We want to make sure that, that we aggravate people and get them angry. We don't want to be considerate and understand that they have places to go. No. I mean, remember, it's our highway. We just need to know that we are the ones on the road and it doesn't matter that there is a line of traffic behind us that reaches from the state of Connecticut to California. And just to make this even better when driving on the interstate, get into the fast lane or the passing lane and go slow. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Make sure you do that. This is even better now because we are causing such a traffic tie up on the major highway and that is beautiful. 
This traffic tie-up that we are causing can have an effect on motorists for hours and hours and hours. After all, need I remind you, you are the only one on the highway. It's your road and only you matter. Nobody else does. So I hope this, this lesson really helps people who needed to learn a lesson in driving. I for one know that these lessons have helped me. If anything, the most important thing that we must take from this is one very simple sentence. And make sure you repeat this to yourself often. I am the only one on the road.